Hi guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and you are watching the Spectrum AR636 programming series. This is part six where we'll cover the registration, software upgrade, and calibration of your new AR636 receiver. In order to update the firmware on our AR636, the first thing that we'll need to do is register the AR636 with our My Spectrum account. Now, as we saw in the software installation portion, of the AR636 programming series. Here in the Spectrum Programmer, you'll have the ability to log into your My Spectrum account. We are logged into our My Spectrum account at this point. So let's go ahead and go over here to the software update, which is now available, that we have an AR636 receiver plugged into the computer. When we go there, we'll see that we have AR636 receiver, We'll see the receiver serial number and the current software version, which is shown as 1.42. All right. Now, I said that we're going to need to register it. It doesn't say anything. It says you need to log into your SpectrumRC.com account and register this device to check for an update. And that's okay. Let's go ahead and check that. Uh, click the Check for Update button. And it's going to allow us to register the device right here from the uh, Spectrum Programmer software. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give this a name. We'll call it Rackamroy AR636. And we don't need to check that box because I get notified about Spectrum updates all the freaking time. And we'll go ahead and register that device. Awesome. Now, what we can see here for online update is that we have a version 1.43 available now we could either install that or we could install another version all right so when we go to install another version we'll see that we have the spectrum ar636 version 2.30 from march 15 2019 uh, we also have several uh, different software variations for some of the Spectrum helicopters that include the AR-636, such as the Blade 250, Blade 230S, Blade 200. Uh, and we've also got the Spectrum AR-636 version 1.43. Now, the differentiation between the... Uh, so, for fixed-wing aircraft, let's just go ahead and forget the Blade 250 and 230, 200 versions. We're not going to use any of the Blade firmwares. But we do want to focus here on the AR636 version 1.4 or 1.43 and 2.30 versions. Now the 1.43, uh, which is the suggested update, it has that this software is intended for use in open stock AR636 receivers. Do not use an AR636A receivers that come installed in bind and fly or ready to fly aircraft or helicopters. Now one of the things that I wanted to share is the difference between the 1.xx firmware and the 2.xx firmware. Uh, basically, 1.43, which is the only one that's available here for us, is only available for receivers that are, or ARC, excuse me, AR636 receivers that are only running uh, AS3X, so only the, the gyro stabilization. If you want to have safe enabled, or you're going to install this into a bind and fly aircraft using one of the pre-made spectrum profiles, you're going to want to use the 2.30 firmware, which is what we're going to install here. We'll go ahead and select version 2.30 and click the update button. Now, while the device is updating, you're going to see the orange light flashing on the receiver. Great. Now we have it updated, and we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, what you want to make sure of, the next portion that's going to happen, is that we're going to need to calibrate the receiver. While the receiver is calibrating, you do not want to touch it. This is where the receiver is figuring out what flat, straight, and level means, right? So you want to put it on a, on a level table, and you want to sit it still and do not touch it during this process. 
we'll go ahead and start the calibration process and you know just back away and leave it alone now while this is happening the light will be flashing in the AR636 receiver and we'll go ahead and let this process finish up All right, now that we see that the calibration has passed and we're sitting at 100%, we can go ahead and close the, um, the settings there. Now, again, we're going to see another model mismatch. Now, the reason for that is that the Spectrum Programmer software sees this as effectively a new receiver now. But we're going to go ahead and go to Show All. And we can see that the um, that the other devices that are available for this are the Avanti S profile and the P47 profile. So the reason that we can't pick that old Rackham Roy profile is because that is a 1.xx profile at this point. So it cannot be used anymore with this receiver. So we're going to need to use a new uh, profile. So we'll go ahead and select new model and click use device settings all right and that is going to create another new model for us and the Rackham Roy uh, profile is no longer seen here because we can't load that profile into this receiver anymore all right so again we will call this Rackham Roy P fifty one safe. Oops. All right. And again, now you'll see that under device we have it as an AR six three six. Instead of just saying AR six three six receiver, it's now an AR six three six safe receiver because it's got the two dot XX firmware in it. Uh, so hopefully that clarifies uh, the difference between that 1.x firmware is AS3X only and the 2.x firmware is AS3X and safe. So that's what we want if we're going to be using the AR636 as a safe receiver or to load one of the bind and fly models, um, you know, if we need to buy a new receiver for a bind and fly model. So we'll go ahead and click save. And now we've got a new profile built for this receiver. Alrighty, well that covers our registration, firmware upgrade, and calibration of the AR636. Stay tuned for part 7 where we will go over the initial model creation inside the Spectrum Programmer software. Stay tuned.